mother suddenly loses her baby in a car accident, and while it appeared acquaintances raised thousands to help, now the family says it was all a complete fraud. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Lexi Suter takes us through the fundraiser gone wrong. Chris, the GoFundMe is a popular site used by individuals trying to raise money for thousands of causes, really any cause you want. But the family of Bree Emery wants their story to be a warning and a wake-up call. People are good, but you really have to be aware of, of potential road bumps and potential scams. Bree Emery was in a car accident near Topeka on Monday, leaving her badly hurt and killing her baby daughter. Shortly after the crash, her stepsister, Dawn Knusen says an acquaintance set up this GoFundMe account in Bree's name. Now, four days later, more than 400 people donated over $13,000, and the family hasn't seen a dime. You have to remember that whenever there's new technology, there's always fraud. Internet expert Matthew Barksdale has watched sites like GoFundMe, Give Forward, and Fundly transform the fundraising world, which comes with many pros and cons. Before, you could go to your individual friends and get $10 or $20 or $1,000 or whatever, but you're limited to both ge geography and your friends, and now this really opens it up to the world. There's a small minority of people that are always going to try to take advantage of the system. Barksdale has some advice. Use your, for lack of a better word, your internet street smarts. So look at their social media profiles. They're really doing research, not just within the site, but external of the site to make sure that it's legitimate. GoFundMe recently took the account down. Still, Bree's family doesn't know where the money is and if they'll ever get it, putting donations in unintended hands. Use your local resources to make sure that this is done the right way for the right reason with the right people involved. GoFundMe says the only way to know for sure where your money goes is if you know the campaign organizer yourself. Now, if you feel like you've donated to an account that has proven to be fraudulent, you can file a complaint on the company's website and receive a full refund. Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.